You know, I was thinking about 100 years ago was 1919. It doesn't seem that long ago. No, it doesn't. <laughs> I was thinking about that because my family had come here around the turn of the, the last century, uh, but they were living in Kitsilano. My great-grandfather had a general store at First and Major. They lived over the store, and my grandma never finished elementary school, but she was good with numbers, <laughs> which is very valuable. And, and I had grandparents that came. My other grandmother was born in Ireland and came here around 1919. Others had come from my Newfoundland and New Brunswick and, and Ontario and England. But they all came here, and let me tell you something. They didn't leave the old country because things were good, and they didn't come here for the scenery. And this is one of the things I ha we have to remember is that all of our ancestors that came here, save and accept, one the later ones that came here in the last 150 years roughly, they came here because they were trying to build a better life because things were not good at home. And whether that was escaping poverty or religious persecution, the, the people that came here and pioneered here came here to build a better life for their children and their children's children, what is us. So I like to think about a hundred years from now, and I'm hopeful that we're going to be able to, to have this organization continue and educate. I remember coming here as a, a kid in elementary school on field trips and being blown away by all the great stuff that's here, and, and it's, a, you know, it's a credit to you all for keeping it up for a hundred years. That means a lot. So um, on the subject of time, it's actually coming up to Vancouver's 133rd birthday on April 6th. And so I'm putting forward a motion this week at council that we should celebrate on April 6th every year uh, Vancouver's birthday. So uh, I hope that's the opportunity to celebrate the incorporation of Vancouver. But birthday sounds better than incorporation. <laughs> And then finally, I want to have a little statement about the future and hope. Because uh, the first act of this new council that came in was to pass a, 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 a motion to have a new citywide plan. And the, the first time there was a real citywide plan, it was in 1929, which was around the amalgamation of Vancouver with Point Grey and South Vancouver, and all the his history buffs will remember that. Uh, but there's been various attempts over time, but there's been <clears throat> nothing that's been comprehensive that has really looked at the fabric of the city. And so I encourage all of you that are you know, living in Vancouver, that have a, a soft spot in your hearts for Vancouver, that you will help contribute to this plan oh, looking forward you. that will you know, shape the next hundred years of our city. So again, thank you very much for being here. Uh, my great privilege. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.